Hey there, today we're going to set up hyperlinks and shortcuts. Within M3, you have this really cool feature to be able to hyperlink to other programs. Saves you a ton of time when you set them up. So we're going to do that now. As you can see now, I actually already have a couple of them set up here. But I'm going to set up one from scratch, just so you can see exactly how all this works. It's really simple. When you set up a hyperlink, you can hyperlink any of these visible fields to any of the related options that are available. So the idea here is this record right here, I want to create a hyperlink to the delivery toolbox. If I didn't have one, I could right click related options and go to the delivery toolbox, but a hyperlink is so much easier. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up to tools, personalize, hyperlinks. I'm going to take my source field, which in this case is warehouse, and my related option is going to be delivery toolbox. I'm going to click add, save, and there you go. Let's test it and make sure it works okay. Yep, works great. So that's a hyperlink. Pretty easy and it makes it really nice to streamline your flow. The next thing I'm going to do is set up some shortcuts over here on the right hand side. So if you hover over your cursor, you'll see something that says collapse toolbox. And if it's collapse and you hover it, it'll say expand. So it's pr this is pretty nice. You can see I have a I have a header and some programs, a header and some programs. And so this is really nice because it, it outlines a particular flow for a user. And you can customize these for any groups. You can have a set for accounting, a set for the warehouse folks, a set for the order entry people, whatever programs that they typically use. So to create one, it's pretty easy. You just click on the plus sign and you have a choice here between function keys, related options. Related options were the things we were just looking at and it gives you a whole list there. Function keys are typically found up here underneath your actions bar. If you wanted to take a look at those, you could see actions, and all of these are function keys up here. So your two choices on these shortcuts is we can do actions or the related options. So let's do that. Let's add a plus, and you can see there's all kinds of different things in here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a header because I'm going to add them at the bottom of my list. So for my heading, I'm going to do is click on heading. I'm going to put whatever I want in there and I'm going to say new new programs. Hit OK and you notice you don't see it. That's because they dumped it very, right at the bottom so you just got to scroll down and find it. Now if you wanted to you can move it up or down the list. What I want to do is add a space in between here. So I'm going to add a space and you see there it is but I'm going to move the space up and so now I'm going to have my my last option, a space and then a new program, and when I hit save, there it is. So now I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to add some programs. So I'm going to add a related option and I'm going to put delivery toolbox over there as well and I'm going to click add. It says it already exists, that's handy, but that's okay, I'm just going to add it again. So again, it adds it, to, it puts it at the bottom of the list. If I were to save, there it goes, it just pops it right there. This way you can give users specific programs and a specific flow that they could go to. Now what happens if you want to go to another program and it's not even on that list? So let's say from here I wanted to go to Item Master, which is MMS001. Now I, there's nothing item related here, so really there's no way we could have a link to there directly. But let's say we add a shortcut and we're just going to add that on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use link and we're going to say item open MMS001 mforms colon whack whack and then type in the program that we want to call. So in this case it's MMS001. So mforms colon whack whack and I'm hitting add. It once again put it at the bottom of the list. I'm going to hit save. And so now let's try it out. There it is. MMS001 item open. You can create a shortcut to any program from any program just using that mforms command. And that's it. So hey, thanks for checking out another one of my videos. I appreciate you spending a few minutes. 
and and feel free to throw some comments and just let me know some cool ways that maybe you've set up a hyperlink or maybe how you've set up some of your shortcuts. I love seeing that stuff. Thanks a lot.